Hi, today I'm going to share with you. Building an app that captures an image with GPS. This app is useful to organize the patrolling record of a security guard. Whenever a security guard enter a patrol record, the data will be synced to the security room. If any incident happened, it is easier for the other to trace back with image and GPS. This app is not limited to the security guards. We may use it in our daily life too. Perhaps our family members, friends, the vehicle is broke down and they hardly tell us where is their exact location. By using this app, capture an image surrounding them. Immediately we will know their exact location. And we can reach them easily by the integration of Google Map navigation. Let's see how does the app works. Basically, the app contains two views. The main view is a map. All the captured images will display according to their recorded location. The second view is a calendar. It listing all the records in a calendar according to date. We can further check the record by clicking the pointer in the map. By clicking the car icon, it will start the navigation with Google Map. Next, click on the plus button to add a new record. In the form, there is only one entry, the photo. If this runs on a mobile phone, the camera will be open automatically. And it will auto save and back to the main view right after the photo is captured. So this is how the app works. Let's start the workshop now. For this app, we just need one table, the master table. First, the record ID column. This column is set as text type and disable the show option. Set it as a required field. And set the initial value as unique ID. Set the column as key. Next, the date time column. This column is set as date time type and set the initial value as now. Set the column as label. Next, the image column. This column is set as image type. Set the column as label. Next, the GPS column. This column is set as latitude long type. And set the app formula as here. Next, the user column. This column is set as email type with disable the show option. And set the initial value as user email. This column is recording who captured the photo. The last, note column. This column is set as long text type. This is an optional column to let the user enter a note or description for the image. All right, data is ready. Let's proceed to user interface. The main view, patrol checkpoint view. Set the data source from master table and set the view type as map and set the position at the left. Set the map column as GPS and change the display icon. Next, let's check out the master form view. This view is auto-generated by AppSheet. We just need to configure the column order. And enable the auto-save option. And set the finish view as patrol checkpoint view. Next, the patrol logging calendar view. Before we proceed to the user interface, let's check the slices first, as we don't want users to add or edit or delete in this view. So I have created a read only slice for master table. Add all column needed. And set the update mode as read only. The slice is ready, let's back to the user interface. For the patrol logging view, we set the data source as the slices that we created 
view type is calendar, and position at menu. Set the start date time and end date time as date time column. And the description is user column. The description is display in the calendar. We may change the default view as month, week or day to. Next, change the display icon. Just now I do mention, in mobile phone, if we add a new record, the camera in the mobile phone will be opened automatically. To achieve this, we need to change some settings in the options. In the form session, enable the advanced forms automatically option. That's all for the setting for the app. Remember to save and verify data before proceeding to test the program. Completed.